So one of the most uh, exciting things we're doing at the Future Humanity Institute right now is trying to understand superintelligence. We cannot build a superintelligent machine yet, but we can actually prove certain things about motivations uh, of certain forms of artificial intelligence. And that might help us understand how to make a safe uh, superintelligence. It all comes down to the structuring, is it motivations, it's emotions, if you will. So it would actually like to play along nicely, so to say, with humans. And this turns out to be an amazingly tricky problem. I think uh, the number of kinds of superintelligences is going to be very large. Because humans have evolved in just one way, but we might design and build uh, machines that are very different from each other. Not only in motivation, but in internal architecture. So the result might be that we have very different kinds of superintelligence, which function fundamentally different from each other and from humans. I think they're going to be very hard to understand in many ways for humans, especially since they might be self-improving. They might be able to modify themselves in small respect or construct even more advanced superintelligences. I do think that it's important to give intelligent machines values that control them. The problem is, of course, in figuring out how to actually express a value. For example, saying to a machine that you should make people as happy as possible, that might backfire horribly. Because it might just realize that, oh, I just need uh, to give everybody heroin and make them immortal. And then lock them uh, down uh, underground so they can't possibly be harmed ever again. That's not really happiness, most humans would say. But a misunderstanding of happiness as a value might lead to a bad outcome. So actually constructing a machine that has a good high level value would require us to understand what value is. And that's something philosophers have been struggling with for thousands of years. I think they made some progress, but they have also discovered how hard it is to pin it down. It might be that the best way of making superintelligences with good values is to teach them what we know about it and then get them to, to continue it. They kind of realize what direction we humans have been aiming in, but then might learn from our mistakes and uh, our limited perspective how to go about and trying to come up with something that actually works better.